we're at Folsom Lake, uh, or what is presently known at Folsom Lake, and the water level, we're experiencing a drought in California, and the water level at Folsom is, is receding. And as that water level is receding, uh, there are some historic Gold Rush era sites that uh, are living underneath Folsom Lake. And so some of those, as the water is receding, are uh, coming up from the water line. Um, and this one here is called Red Bank. Uh, so a lot of people refer to Mormon Island. Uh, what we've seen in the last few years protruding from the water line is actually Red Bank, not Mormon Island. Mormon Island would have been further down below the water level. And, but Red Banks were people that came over during the Gold Rush era uh, to make a living here in California and, and mainly do a lot of things like agriculture. Just a Gold Rush settlement, really, uh, that was out here. And uh, the people uh, left when uh, the dam was built. Uh, so Folsom Dam was built in the 1950s, shortly before they started uh, inundating the Folsom area with water. The town people of Red Bank were notified of you know what was going to happen and were asked to vacate their their town and you know some of those people have shared the history of, of over time when they lived here and so we like to come out here and learn more about the people that lived here and and how they operate in this town and, and what they did. There's a lot we can learn from history just from these these historic sites like a lot of state parks. A lot of people will be walking around uh, the historic structures and foundations here and they find something that was left behind from the people who lived here at Red Bank. And they, they think it's helpful to us by picking it up and, and stacking it on a stump or, or rock somewhere. And uh, it actually doesn't help us. Uh, we, we encourage people, again, leave things where you found it. Uh, we welcome you to look at things, you know, with your eyes, uh, learn about it as you can. Uh, but when you pick up an artifact and, and move it from the place you found it, it's uh, hard for us to give context to that item. It's helpful if you just leave it where you found it. Some of this, it's, it's really hard to tell exactly what it is, but I mean, even a piece of glass can, can give us a time period, uh, can give us the wealth of the people that lived here, the type of people, the culture. Uh, there's so much we can learn from artifacts, so it's really uh, imperative that when you find stuff out here uh, to leave it where you found it, not only because it's against the law to take it, um, it can be punishable by uh, fine or even some jail time, uh, but also because it's, it's just the, the right ethical thing to do is to leave it where it is. Um, we get visitors from all over the world and we want everybody to understand the importance of the resources and, and aspects of California that we have here and, and why they're important to uh, our natural environment and uh, our history.